International Conference. And today we are here with Armata Stroya from Romania, who is first time presenter this year at Taitapo. When was your presentation? Hello and thank you first for inviting me here. Uh, well, I presented on Tuesday and my presentation was uh, on language uh, teaching to make a difference, soft skills in action, uh, a topic which is very close to my heart. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, um, I've been teaching English for 10 years and I'm currently working to finish my PhD on linguistics and I've always been interested in finding solutions for both my personal and professional development and for both uh, my students' personal and academic uh, development. So that's why I do believe the soft skills are critically important. Is this presentation a part of your project or research? Something that you do for your PhD? And now it's not uh, what I do for my PhD in linguistics, but it's what I'm uh, focused because I'm uh, working in a classroom and I'm trying to um, ask myself how can I do to make a difference in my students' lives mm -hmm. and I think this is a question uh, every teacher should ask and what specific strategies uh, should we use because if you ask teachers they say well I develop soft skills but if you say okay more specifically how do you, what strategies do you use to embed those then they give you general um, comments and I think that yes um, we, we don't we all complain teachers that we don't have time we, we and it's true we have to navigate through our overloaded syllabus to uh, it's like a roller coaster right to check task objectives daily objectives and when do we have time to develop those you know, people skills uh, we think that they might be a byproduct of teaching or maybe growing up mm -hmm. who knows mm -hmm. but it's not true and research says that no we should spend time and design activities to nurture their social and emotional needs, to you know, to develop their confidence, to spark their self-management skills, mm -hmm. uh, critical reading, critical thinking, creativity. They're really important. And I think we all want our students to, I don't know, to be able to manip to use information critically, not just to be passive consumers, right? Or um, to be able to con connect, but at a deeper level, to be able to to show empathy. And um, speaking about empathy, I use in my classroom an app. It's um, an award-winning uh, vocabulary app mm -hmm. uh, that stimulates, uh, in encourages students to solve uh, tasks, general quiz tasks, English vocabulary, grammar. But every correct answer. At every correct answer, 10 grades of rice um, are donated to children in underdeveloped countries. It's a, a project supported by United um, Nations, a World Food Program. And it's amazing because my students are so excited when they see, wow, I can actually make a difference in someone's life. And well, yes. yeah, they go home and without telling them, yeah, you need to work. They just continue working and telling me, oh, I managed to donate I don't know, 10 kilos of rice and they, they can work in groups. And even my parents, the parents uh, tell me, ah, oh, free rice, it's freerice.com. They just use free rice, they're so motivated. So I think there are lots of um, platforms and apps that can uh, be used to develop. Do you see that uh, future direction of ELT is in technology? Yeah, this because, is because you, you mentioned apps and using yeah. these applications to, to get students motivated. <laughs> oh, by the way, I was thinking now that um, there are some you know, rumors mm -hmm. that uh, soon teachers will be <laughs> replaced suddenly by mm -hmm. AI, mm -hmm. um, by software, because uh, we with all, so many devices, Syria, Google translate and everything but then my question is okay this is the hard skill you know when learning a language this is learning a code to use in a restricted environment so it, this is the hard skill but um, how can these types of software uh, develop soft skills or maybe they can use some I know some strategies but the emotional how can they nurture their social and emotional needs how can they um, teach our students how to collaborate how to solve conflicts. I 
think that this is our uh, area of opportunity as teachers and we should spend invest more time and energy and focus to de develop this uh, neglected skills right? so even they all everyone says us oh, they're really important yeah, critically important for future success okay so you said this is your first at a conference and your first time speaker this year so how do you find the conference well it's amazing i i just love the atmosphere i i can feel this adrenaline of positive energy and con i know connectedness uh, so many inspiring people and sessions you can find uh, you can learn so many things and you can share and connect with other people about their project about their wonderful ideas and um, I, I will definitely come back again next year it's just an amazing place yeah, have you been to any interesting sessions that are uh, of interest for you yes I'm a, I've been interested in critical thinking and I've been, um, I've attended some sessions and one of my favorite was from National Geographic. I think it was Luciana Fernandez. It was about the power of critical reading mm -hmm. to ignite uh, young learners and uh, how to exploit visuals but um, on a deeper level to develop their empathy. And I remember there was a photo with um, some children um, crossing a bridge, broken bridge to get to school. Mm -hmm and obviously uh, trying to uh, interact with students and ask them how do they go to school, how, what's the difference between and just to put themselves in the shoes of their, those children and try to appreciate more what they have and yeah. I just love this example. Is there anything else that you would like to share with us or to send a message to those people who are still thinking if it's worth coming to our table? Uh, yes, of course. Um, well, I do believe that um, ITAFL is a great place to connect, to network, to, um, uh, get, to, is to get inspired and to inspire other teachers from all around the world. And um, I definitely recommend you to come here and learn because I think that teachers should never stop learning, no matter their experience, their background. I do believe that teachers should never stop learning and this is uh, the best place to be for every teacher and educator and researcher. Thank you so much for taking time to join us today and to talk to us and to share your experience. And thank you. Stay tuned. And